I'm Jared, a customer success manager, and I would give AppQs a five out of five stars. And for more reviews like this, click the link below. We, uh, before AppQs, we were using Intercom uh, for our in-app messaging with our customers and uh, decided to make the switch because some of the, some limitations Intercom had in terms of how uh, it could interact with uh, customers and kind of walk them through the, the platform. Uh, we also looked at Pendo as an option uh, in addition to AppQs, uh, but Pendo we just found was um, a lot more uh, expensive and pricey compared to AppQs. We chose AppQs for our business because uh, it was extremely simple to set up. All we had to do was send a piece of code to our developers and it was one time um, uh, like install. So essentially from that point on, anytime that we were to make updates to AppQs or adding any new flows um, to any pages on our platform, uh, we didn't have to reach out to our engineering team. We could do it all on our own. Um, also, AppQs was just for the price point compared to other solutions out there. Um, it was uh, one, of, one of the best for what we were getting back in return. We could pay about the same for it as we were for um, Intercom, but we got uh, just a lot more functionality out of it um, in terms of being able to interact with customers where we can walk them through uh, different pages of the platform um, and have them click on different different links and different elements on different pages um, in our app and uh, just the ability to uh, segment as well that was probably the third thing uh, how we could target specific sets of users um, and we could trigger different app queues to display on certain pages based on other interactions um, and based on whoever uh, we were we were segmenting for uh, based on specific demographics or um, history and, and things like that. AppQs was super simple to get set up. Uh, all we had to do was send a piece of code to our engineering team and then they uploaded that um, into our uh, platform in the back end. Once that was done, there was no, uh, whenever we made updates, whenever we, we added new uh, flows or different app queues throughout our platform, we could do all of it um, on our own. We didn't have to reach out to our engineering team to do it for us, which was fantastic. Um, so it was really just kind of sitting down with it and taking the time to learn how to build out your different flows. Um, that it, it was overall it was super intuitive but it just did require you know uh some time probably like one to two hours just to really sit down without distractions and understand uh how you you work through a, a work you know to build out an app queue flow um and reading through their support documentation just to, to get a handle on how to um, best segment and set that up set up a, an app queue and uh, different flows to actually execute them so that they're live if you're considering app queues for your business, um, I would first, you know, look at, at price. Uh, there are some other cheaper options out there um, where if all you're really looking for is a way to have in-app messaging with your, your customers and you don't need to have as much interaction with them and, and actually walking them through different sections of, of your platform, then you might want to go with a, a cheaper solution out there. But if you're really wanting a tool that if, if you're in a high growth phase of your company and you really want something that's hands off where um, you, you can walk through and onboard customers quickly and automatically for you and it would be a really seamless experience so as soon as someone's logging your platform for the first time it can walk them through and get their account set up for them uh, if you want to be low touch like that uh, but still give a great experience then i would definitely consider app cues um, it's a fantastic tool our team has has loved it and, um, you know, we just continue to build on it each and every day.